All right, guys, happy Tuesday. This is our last day here in Black Mountain in the dome, the camping dome. And so I am just going to do like a closeout room um, tour just because I like to film after I've stayed. Um, because sometimes you get here and you're like, woo, wow, you're just wild. And um, once you actually start spending a night sleeping, you're like, oh, I wish this was here. Or, or I wish this was like this or something on those lines. But let me take you around the dome one more time before we head out. All right, guys. So that is everything. My daughter tied up the, the stuff. It was so pretty. Um, but we are about to head out because we have not had breakfast. And I think it's like... 10 and I want to kind of get there so I can get on the road um, but uh, we're going to take you guys to that as well we're taking you to breakfast with us um, brunch as I like to say but that's everything I'm probably going to show you the hammock outside we did get on the hammock it was very nice we didn't we weren't outside long just because like I said it's cold up here in the mountains um, I think we left like 60 degree, maybe 65 degrees weather. And up here, it's in the 40s. And so we definitely um, didn't do too much stuff outside. I mean, we did the hike in the morning, which is probably like 59 degrees. But we're about to head out. So I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, we are saying bye to the dome. Until next time, going to lock up real quick. And Point Cafe. It is so beautiful. They have a garden in the back here. It's um, being revamped um, so you can't really go in but they definitely grow their herbs. Some of the vegetables I've seen back there as well and then I love the murals they have here. They are gorgeous. I love the color scheme that they picked out. I love the um, toy push chairs. Just beautiful. It honestly is a good day. It feels good. It rained all morning. Like literally I woke up to it just raining. It, I was like, oh my goodness. We've been here this whole entire time and it hasn't rained. To me, when I woke up, I like when I woke up, I didn't really know it was raining. It sounded like it was shit. Oh. Like, <laughs> In the dome, the way the when the rain hits, you really hear it because it's it's you know it's not a house it's not made out of wood or brick it is all right guys so our drink is here it's not gonna stay there we got the mama Mount, no the mountain mama the mountain mama this is it and i love that they have mocktails because my dear daughter right here likes to get a fancy drink you know once in a while all right she's gonna take the the first sip so, um, you guys saw that I um, had the donut. Their donut is homemade. You can clearly tell. It's more of a cake donut opposed to like um, a dough donut. And I honestly got the glaze and it was, it was very good. Now, imagine it 
like hot. It, it, to me, it's still fresh. It definitely seems like it was made this morning. Um, but, oh my goodness, it was very good. Loved it, loved it. Oh yeah, that is good. I love you guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, honestly, everywhere we've gone, we've seen dogs, and they're usually in twos. <laughs> so, no, growing up, we had we started off with two dogs. So we had um, I won't say their names, but they were German Shepherds. Loved them. We loved them to death. Um, and then I want to say a year or two, we got a third one. My granddad had a third dog. You guys, I can't imagine having a dog just because I I am never home. I would constantly, I wouldn't even be able to spend time with a dog. In my mind, I was thinking like, you know what, I think they have robot dogs and I might have to start there. Just because I literally am not home and I can't imagine me having a dog with me 24 seven. I'm, I'm not ready for it, I'm not ready for it. But I do love dogs, I'm a dog lover. Definitely love dogs more than I do cats. Sorry for the cat lovers. Um, I don't know what it is. It's just that connection. They, they're, I don't know. I just love dogs. All right, so the next time I am on, we will probably be sitting down ordering food. I guess we should look at the menu and see what we want. So we just finished having brunch. I am literally full. Really wanted to taste their biscuit and gravy, but typically, and this time too, whenever I get shrimp and grits, I get full off of it. And so I just, we're heading back on the road and there's nowhere to really store that food. So I was like, okay, I clearly am not going to be able to try both. The grits, the, honest, truthfully, they were very good. Very good. Very good. Unfortunately, I would, I would, I'm still like Myrtle Beach grits. Um, I'll link the video. I don't remember the name of the restaurant right now, but that place had the best grits I ever had. The best the best so i mean if you're ever in myrtle beach look it up again i'm gonna link the video i'll put a card somewhere back to these grits now the grits here at sunny point what i really like they're definitely unique the sauce never had those before never had that before it was a it was definitely creamy rich cheesy but then it also had like oh uh, it was like a seaf a seafood broth like that's the only way I can describe it they had to like make the grits or something in that dish was made with seafood broth because it came across like that it was it was very good the sauce was yes now the um appetizer I had which was the tomato the fried it was the praline fried green tomato um that was okay i definitely like the sauce on that that one had a little kick to it it literally had my nose going i was just like <laughs> but it was very good um i uh what i didn't really care for 
from the fried green tomatoes is it it just seemed very juicy and i don't like it juicy like unfortunately but um the presentation oh that was number one for real it was very pretty very put together i was like whoo polished for real um but yeah, I, I'm so glad I found this place. It was about uh, 55, maybe an hour wait. I honestly feel like we waited about an hour. You cannot make reservations. So you do have to get up and come, you know, in a decent time if you don't want to wait. But um, I like that they had things that you could still order drinks while you wait. They're waiting I guess spot. I don't even know what you want to call it. Their waiting lounge area. It was outside. Um, thankful it was not. It stopped raining, but it was very nice outside. It was a little on the cool side, but we, you know, we had our sweaters because we knew it was cool. But I like their, like I like their, their outside decor. It, it was just very nice. Um, the food was good. I did order a praline um, latte. I think it doesn't come sweet because it wasn't sweet at all. And I'm just used to a latte already, you know, put together. All I got to do is drink it. I got to open bags of sugar, pour it in. So I really didn't drink it um, because I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like doctoring it. So um, overall, like this restaurant i would have to say i would give it an eight and again i didn't even try everything that they had like their biscuits looked very good i'm sorry no I, i'm sticking to my seven and a half it has to be a seven and a half and and i and, I, and it's just because i just thought of it but we had the french toast too and that french toast wasn't all that um like my daughter didn't even she didn't even finish it nor did she care to take it with her so that's saying a lot because this one here i don't it's it's really hard to mess up french toast and i'm not saying that it was messed up it's just not the way that we care for it it was more still uh it was it was i don't want to say soggy but it was soft and um you could still feel the liquid like it i don't know how to describe it but it just um wasn't our cup of tea when it comes to french toast it just wasn't like she even said when we were sitting there oh the one we had yesterday was better <laughs> and i did i have yesterday's did i taste no. it no yeah i was gonna say did I I no. she did boy she cleaned her plate yesterday I didn't even get a chance to taste it. This one I did <laughs> taste. Um, and like I said, it just isn't the way that we care for French toast. Um, I don't want to, I don't want any of the, I don't want any liquid still on it. Like I want all of that to be nice and firm. But I, overall, I would have to say that it's really hovering between a 7.5 and an 8. I'm just leaning. I think what's happening is today's everything that I tried is bringing it to a 7.5. I feel like had I tried the biscuit and gravy, it would have been an eight. That's that's how I feel. Um, just because I seen others biscuit and gravy looked good. They even had a French, a stuffed French toast, which honestly sounds good. So I feel like um, next time we're here in Black Mountain, definitely we'll be back. We'll probably be early. Like I say, you can't make a reservation. Um, on top of that, you can't um, you can't make a reservation, and you know, coming later, you're guaranteed to have like a longer wait time. So, but definitely, if you're ever in Black Mountain, it is a place to try the shrimp and grits hands down that's an eight that's an eight and that was good that was very good so um so far from what i've what i've tried i would tell you to start with shrimp and grits to me 
it definitely I've never had shrimp and grits like that before um, I can't I'm sorry but I can't say that it's the best shrimp and grits I've ever had um, but definitely unique it's definitely a unique um, taste on the typical um, typical shrimp and grits that I've had but we're about to get on this road so we will see you guys in the next vlog I hope you enjoyed this vlog this travel edition flight edition uh, please like comment subscribe guys I have a goal to um, get my to reach my 500 subscriber mark so um, please subscribe I am grateful and thankful I want to thank you in advance and have a blessed one guys do you do you bye Uh, and asleep. Okay. Asleep. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right. Here's yours. All right. So, guys, we're officially and we're officially back. Oh, go ahead. Home stops at Starbucks to just get us a drink because. That was a long ride and I just need, I don't know why, I'm like instantly hot. Instantly hot. But I got my brown shaken, what is it called? Brown sugar shaken espresso. You know, I don't even know if they put oat milk, but I like it with either oat milk or almond milk. But we're gonna see how it comes out. And I did get two pumps of vanilla. Oh yeah, good. That's perfect. And so let's get to the house. Oh, here comes the fun part: unpacking. You gotta love it. You you just gotta love it. <laughs>